As we wrap up this final day of Warfare Week, please remember the word of the Lord, which was our theme of the week from 1 Peter 5, 8, Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. He will use any tactics, and go to any length, we cannot be ignorant of his devices. We see from the word of God, that he will always come back with our past experiences, good or bad to use it against us. Therefore, be alert, be watchful, saints of God. And remember, no test or temptation that comes your way is beyond the course of what others have had to face. All you need to remember is that God will never let you down. He'll never let you be pushed past your limit. He'll always be there to help you come through it. That was 1 Corinthians 10:13 from the Message Translation. Remember my beloved brothers and sisters, be watchful. Our God will keep us. Let us say the benediction together, may the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us, yes, establish the work of our hands. 2 Corinthians 13:14. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost, be with you all. Amen. Moments later. That was a blessed week we had. We cannot be ignorant of the enemy's devices. Yes my dear, thank God we have a day off tomorrow, a day of relaxation. Tomorrow you will get your well-deserved beautiful weekly roses. So what color do you want for tomorrow? You always ask the same thing every week, why don't you surprise me, as usual? I believe I will. Unknown to Pastor Samuel and Leah Davidson there is a diabolical plot to destroy them. Take a look. Wilhelmina at your service, you summoned me. Yes. For a task that we believe, only you can carry out. We have been trying to get one Pastor Samuel Davidson, but we have not been successful. In fact, over the years, we have lost hundreds of infiltrators, they have been defeated and destroyed, because they try to destroy him, but his God always protects him, with a great edge of protection. We still have not given up. We have monitored him for years and we could not find no way in, not even a crack, until a month ago when we noticed a pattern about him that had eluded us for years. We checked and monitored to make sure, and we believe that we found a crack to enter through. I see, that is why you summoned me, at your service great oracle. Precisely, there is one thing we see however, he cannot bear to see people suffer, especially single mothers. We believe that he is like that because he was raised by a single mother, so his weakness is that he cannot bear to see women suffer especially single mothers. What will my assignment be? What do you want me to do? I told you what his weakness is, that he cannot bear to see single mother suffers, he will do anything to help them. So what should I do? I do not have any children. I have arranged everything, go to the orphanage, meet the woman called Sister Emma. She is our inside worker there, tell her that you came to pick up the package. She will bring a 10 year old girl out to you, she is already groomed, and prepared, she will start to call you mom immediately. Pastor Samuel always passed Main Street at least once a week, he buys fresh flowers for his wife. Everything else his assistants, and ministers does, but he prefers to buy flowers for his wife. You may wonder how we know this. It is because we have monitored him for years. This is your task. Wait at the flower shop and begin to cry with the 10 year old from the orphanage, passing as your daughter. Start to beg together with the child. We will set up a few people to be mean to you and curse you out and tell you to go find a job. When he observes that he will feel sorry for you, make sure you look pitiful. He will approach you. The moment he offers help, extend your hand to shake his hands and then the spell of his demise will begin. As you wish, consider it done. The next day, Pastor Samuel give thanks to the Lord as he always does, before he left his home. Heavenly Father, thank you for this great and beautiful day. Thank you for your love, grace and your mercy upon my life. Thank you for your protection over my life, over my family, over the ministry you entrusted in my care. Lord as you have given me this beautiful day, I give it back to you. I stand on Proverbs 3, 5-6, the scripture that you give me to say daily, to govern my life. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. I humble myself before you Lord, 
and I follow as you lead and direct my paths today, in Jesus' mighty name Amen. As soon as Pastor Samuel said Amen, he heard a still small voice. My servant do not go out today, the enemy is sending a trap, to trap you. Always remember, after every successful meeting, he will be ready and waiting with three of his devices. Distraction, deceit, and defeat. He used distraction to divert, deceit to mislead, and defeat to conquer. Be watchful. I know that you like that flower shop, and you like to be the one to get the weekly flowers for your wife, instead of your assistants or ministers, but that is where the trap has been set, so do not go there, do not go out at all, instead please remain in prayer before me this day. Be vigilant, be sober the enemy is seeking whom he may devour. Blessed be your holy name my lord, thank you for the warning. I will not go out today, I will be prayerful as you said to do. Moments later. Oh honey you are still here, I know that on your day off you normally go and get me fresh flowers, before I wake up. I do not see any flowers anywhere. Where are my roses, where could they be? Are we playing find it Leah, today, again? <laughs> Did you bring it into the closet this time, to see if I go in to pray, to surprise me? No my sweet Leah, as you can see I am dressed. However, I was praying before I went out and the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me, not to go out this day. In fact the Lord told me that a trap was set for me. I do not know what kind of trap it is, but the Lord warned me, not to go out this day, but instead to be in prayer. The Lord said that after every successful meeting the enemy will send three of his devices, distraction, deceit and defeat. Distraction to divert, deceit to mislead, and defeat to conquer. As such, he want me to be in prayer before him today. I could have sent one of our helper, to get the flowers for you, but you know this is something, I prefer to do for you myself. Wow. And to think that you just wrapped up that meeting warning all of us not to be ignorant of the enemy's device. Glory to God, and we bless him for his protection over our lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Indeed, he surely protects his own. As we are told in Proverbs 18.10 the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it, and is safe. Our God be praised. Indeed, indeed, we will stand and pray, and thank him for his great protection over our lives. Thank him according to Psalm 91, that once we dwell in the secret place of the Most High we will remain under his shadow of protection. The Lord certainly looks after his own. Praise his holy name. My love. Let us begin our prayer by praying, all of Psalm 91. Meanwhile... What happened? I stayed the whole day, and he never came to buy the flowers. I do not understand, this is something he does weekly and he did not go this time. Did you really went on time? I even went one hour before the time you said that I should go. Well, we must think of something else. Okay. The new task will be for you to go down Rally Street, it is an abandoned place, very dilapidated, they often come out to evangelize, the minute you see him began to cry and say Lord please come to my aid, send some help from above. My daughter and I will die from hunger this day. He will approach and perhaps offer help and give money. Tell him that your husband passed and you have no job and you and your daughter is homeless. He will offer to help. Go to the church meeting and become a great help there, volunteer and everything say that this is the least you can do after he pick you from the street, then after three months of building their confidence and trust, I will give you a potion to rub on yourself, the moment you do find him and ask him to pray. He will not be guarded, the moment that he lay hands on you, he will die right there. If you accomplish this destiny destroying task, then you will be promoted to the highest rank next to me. Do you accept this other leg of the assignment? Yes, with pleasure. Now go. The next day. <laughs> that poor mother, with her daughter. It is her, I heard crying, as I was about to go in my car. I need to see if everything is okay. <laughs> Mom, I am very hungry. I saw a man throw a pizza box in that bin, can I go check, if perhaps he left a slice in there, I am so very hungry mom. Go see my daughter, I can see where you are. 
<laughs> what is wrong? Why are you sad? My daughter and I will die from hunger this day. Why? 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 Do you have a husband? Where's he? My husband passed and I have no job and me and my daughter is homeless. Homeless? That is terrible. I will help you and that poor child. We always come to this street for evangelism. The other brethren had left and my wife was already sitting in the car. I heard the cry and I told her to stay there and I come to check and see you and your daughter. Come along with me to the car. I will give you some help. My name is Samuel Davidson. Pastor Samuel Davidson. Thank you so much, Pastor. My father always say when a kindness is render, to shake the hands of that person to thank them. Can I shake your hands, to thank you? I am afraid that I cannot do that. What is your name? Wilhelmina Diverter. Wilhelmina, the Lord forbids me to do so. That was one of his instructions to me, to never shake hands, unless he told me to do so. I do not know why, but I never disobeyed that instruction. Come, I will help you and your daughter. Wilhelmina waved to the child, to come back, she said to her, this nice man is going to help us. Pastor Samuel helped Wilhelmina and the child, to find food and shelter. Later that day. So, he did not shake your hands. Not to worry, his compassion, caught him into our trap. Go and make yourself indispensable to them. Then after three months, we will carry out the other leg of the snare. Wilhelmina served the church faithfully. She got so many praises that ever since she came, her willingness for the things of God is unmatched. Wilhelmina, we thank God for you and for your life. You never refused any task for the Lord. Sister Gertrude, that is the least I can do after how the man of God rescued me and my daughter from the street, from homelessness. Well, you heard my testimony. I will serve him until the day I die. Wow. Such loyalty. We need more servant of God like you in the body of Christ Wilhelmina, if many would be thankful, like the one leper who went back to Jesus to give thanks our churches would be overflowing to the brim. What, humility. Three months later. You summoned me, here I am. My master will not wait any longer. The time has come for Pastor Samuel demise, I have prepared the potion for you. This is the potion for you to rub on yourself to take Pastor Samuel out today. Take it, and rub it all over your body, then go to him for prayer, the moment he lays hands on you, there will be a strange fire enter into him, and he will die immediately in front of you. This will not fail, his compassion have led him into our trap, and he had not realized this for months now. Remember, what I told you, you will be promoted to the highest rank, next to me, you will be greatly celebrated for taking out this general of the faith. Finish him today. It is already done. That morning at 3 a.m., Leah Davidson was walking up to intercede for her husband. She saw the enemy running after him to kill him. As she began praying, the power of God came upon her strongly, and she said, I stand on Psalm 118, 17, and say, Samuel, you shall not die but live, and declare the works of the Lord. I stand on Isaiah 54, 17 over your life, that says, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Every plan of the enemy against, my husband, it will be null and void, and instead it will be returned to the sender, to do that which it was sent to do against my husband. Father, help my husband to be strong in the Lord, and in the power of your might. To put on the whole armor of God, that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. According to Ephesians 6 12-17, your words said, For he wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, my husband Samuel has taken and put on the whole armor of God, he will be able to withstand in the evil day, because he has done all, to stand. Samuel my husband, you will stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, Samuel you have taken, the shield of faith, 
wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. You have the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, full of his protection over your life. The blood of Jesus covering is over us, all our family members, and all that we have. Through the authority of the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus, we are victorious, and every assignment is now destroyed against my husband's life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your angel that encamp around him this day and every day, this moment as he is sleeping. He has your perfect peace, because his mind is stayed on you my Lord. He will dwell in your secret place continually, where he will be protected, and because he dwell in your secret place, and abide under your shadow. There shall no evil trap befall him. Instead my Samuel will hold fast to the liberty where Christ has made him free and that he will not be entangled anymore in no deceitful or distracting yoke of bondage, break off every stronghold and bondages off him today and purify him with your holy fire, burning up all that is in him that is not of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you will protect your servant, because you have given him the strength to endure and stand firm until the end. Thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen. Sammy, my darling, I did not mean to wake you up, but the Lord showed me the enemy after you, trying to kill you, and so he woke me up to pray for you. Thank you so much, my wonderful wife. Father, I repent of any area in my life where I have been disobedient to you. I, if there is any door open, any door of disobedience to your word, any area of my life that I have not completely given to you, I humbly give it to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, and I say that not even a crack will I leave for the enemy to get through. Your holy fire sealed every part of my life, every crack in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, I now speak over our life, Psalm 91, 11 to 16, for you shall give your angels charge over us, to keep us in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear us up, lest we dash, our foot against a stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent we shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore you will deliver us. You will set us on high, because we know your name. We shall call upon you, and you will answer us. You will be with us in trouble. You will deliver us and honor us. With long life, you will satisfy us, and show us your salvation, in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen. Thank you once again for praying for me Leah, let's go back to sleep, we are called beloved of the Lord and he give us rest. Hallelujah, Amen. Meanwhile, earlier 3 a.m. at Wilhelmina's place, she got up and rubbed herself with the potion, it was the same time the Lord woke up Leah to pray. Wilhelmina was very excited, because she thought, she will be promoted to higher rank this day, as she helped to take out, a general of the faith. However, unknown to her, and those setting traps for Pastor Samuel because of his compassion to help, the Lord woke up his wife to intercede for him. Consequently, the enemy will not triumph. So later the day. Yes Sister Gertrude. Pastor Samuel, Sister Wilhelmina needs prayer, she is not feeling well, but you know her, she is the last to bother you for prayer. Tell her to come, Sister Gertrude. So you are not feeling well. No Pastor. I need prayer. Pastor Samuel was about to pray, and then he heard the voice of the Lord. If it's not for my mercy, and the fervent prayer of your wife, the enemy would have taken you out today. But my mercy rewrites your life today. This vulnerable place in you because of your mother, as a single mother, your heart goes out for all single mothers, but that act of compassion has caused you to accept the enemy into your midst. But I woke up your wife Leah to intercede on your behalf, and I heard her. Your own repentant prayer, also invites me to move in a greater measure of protection. The vulnerable place in you, was that crack that the enemy needed to enter through, to get to you. Watch my power of protection over your life this day. Pastor Samuel lay hands, on Wilhelmina, and the moment he did, Wilhelmina, began screaming that she was burning, then she began confessing everything, and she told him, screaming in pain, how she was sent to kill and destroy him. After she finished confessing everything, she let out one final scream of terror, and right before Pastor Samuel she passed away. Later the day. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I have called you here this evening, to warn those of you to be especially watchful, especially after a great breakthrough, 
after every wonderful things, because after our last week of warfare session, the enemy sent, someone, I would have never suspected to take me out. Pastor Samuel, told of the whole experience with Wilhelmina, the congregation was in shock. He wanted to steal, kill and destroy me. He gained entry through a crack in my life, a vulnerable place of compassion towards single mothers, that day, I was drawn in by what I thought was a need, not realizing that it was a trap. That day I did not stand on Proverbs 3, 5-6, a scripture that the Lord gave me to stand on daily so that He can direct my path. Leah and I was running late to meet the brethren for evangelism, and so that single act of not standing on that word, coupled with my compassion towards single mother left a crack for the enemy to enter in, and had it not been for the mercy of God, I would not be standing here speaking to you today. How many have been taken out this way, Lord have mercy. My brothers and sisters, we must be watchful against the adversary, who is always seeking those to devour. Thank God for this great victory, for his mercy that rewrite my life today. May he give us his sight and the obedient heart to trust him in all our ways, so that we will never be ignorant of the enemy's devices. I pray God's blessing upon you and his protection upon us all in Jesus' mighty name, Amen. And remember, none of us is immune to the tactics of the enemy. You see what he almost did to me. However, obedience to God's words will cause us to hear his voice, and once we can hear his voice, it will save our lives. God bless you all, and remember, if God be for you no one, or nothing can be against you. Neither will any weapon that formed prosper against you. Thank you all for coming out, let us all be watchful. Sister Ruth, I liked Wilhelmina so much, that I was blinded that she was sent by the enemy, and to think. I was the one who told Pastor that she need prayer. Meanwhile she was going with the intention to kill Pastor. Sister Ruth, I am feeling really bad. No Sister Gertrude, refuse that lie, in the mighty name of Jesus, see it for what it is, another wicked distracting device of the enemy called guilt, do not let it in, refuse it right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, and remember, even Pastor did not see what she was up to either, she came with distraction deceit and she almost caused defeat. Praise be to God, for his great love and mercies over the life of his children. Refuse his lies right now Sister Gertrude. Thank you Sister Ruth, no wonder the Lord tells us that iron will sharpen iron, thank you for that, God will help me not to be ignorant of none of his deceitful device, I refuse his distraction of guilt right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's go home my sister and do as pastor say. Let us all be watchful. A few minutes later. My husband, I am amazed at the length that the enemy went to, and to think that the very compassion that the Lord placed in you because of your mother, that was the crack that he needed to enter through. May we always be vigilant and sober and not be ignorant of the enemy's devices. We have arrived at the conclusion of this story. Thank you for watching. It is our prayer that there was a lesson to you from this story, and that it was a blessing to you. If you were blessed, please like and share it, and if you have not subscribed to our channel please do so today. May God continue to bless and keep you in all areas, against the enemy's distraction to divert, deceit to mislead, and defeat that will cause him to conquer, you will stand against all the plants of the enemy in Jesus mighty name. See you soon in our next video. And remember, be watchful.